The other day, I released a video called Playing Pokemon Unite on PC with my sister and mom. And it occurs to me later on that a lot of you may not know how to play Pokemon Unite on PC. Since it's not actually on PC, it's on Nintendo Switch and Android. I don't know about iPhone, but definitely Android. So here's just a pretty quick tutorial on how to get it set up. The first thing you're going to want to do is go up top and navigate to bluestacks.com slash download.html. Now, those of you who already know about Bluestacks are probably rolling your eyes at this tutorial now, but for those of you who don't, this is for you, basically. Go here, click on download, you'll see it downloading, and then as soon as it's done, click on it to open it and run it and install the program as normal. For this next step, we've got to restart the computer. Waiting, waiting. OMG. Because I am still... Oh, there it goes. Start spamming your delete key. Mine is right here on the keyboard. Keep spamming it, keep spamming it. Until, all the way until you get into the BIOS menu of your computer. Right here, delete, 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 entering setup. This is where you want to be. Now, this option is not going to be in the same exact place for all computers. A lot of these BIOS menus look different, but mine is in the advanced tab. You navigate with the arrow keys, and then you'll hit enter to go into the one you want. Mine is in CPU configura uh, configuration. Just arrow down until you find Intel Virtualization Tech. What this will do is it'll allow your uh, your app to run a lot more smoothly than if you didn't have this checked. It could be lag laggy and stuttery otherwise and load stuff a lot slower. So you want to just hit enter and make sure you go to enabled, hit that. And you can hit the escape key to go back, go all the way over to exit, save changes and exit, save configuration, okay, hit enter, and you'll restart. Now that your computer is restarted and you're back on your desktop, go to BlueStacks, open it up. Loading screen usually advertises something here. It's a free program, so, you know, not really complaining. Here's your home screen right here. You're going to single click Play Store. This is technically using Android, so you don't have to double click anything here. You just tap, tap up here. I've already searched for Pokemon. You can type it up here. Scroll down, your scroll wheel does work. Or since it's like a touch screen, you can click and hold and just, uh, uh, wait. Click and hold and scroll it like that if you want to. So single tap here. It'll say install up here, but obviously I've already done it. So once you hit that down here is your home button. Tap that to go back to this screen. And here you have all your apps. Right here is my Pokemon Unite. Just single tap that to open it up. And here we've got all the controls. These are pre-configured. I did not have to set these up. All the most popular apps already have stuff like this. Uh, the most popular you know, games and such already have stuff like this just uh, just set up for you so you don't have to worry about it. So like B right here, if I were to push B, it taps that part of the screen. doesn't matter. Uh, oh, it hits the, both those parts. Okay, I've got caps lock here, space here. Right mouse here is where our joystick, joystick is gonna be. We'll see in just a second once I launch it up so you can see. Oh, don't care about that for sure. Start. Come on now. Unite battle. start I'll take whatever match I don't really care right now I'm not gonna play a whole match or anything right now <laughs> just want to show you all how to do this and take you all the way into a match so you can see that it works pick me a Charizard because it's literally the only one I know how to play no, confirm my bad guys my bad really know what battle prep is for. I mean, I know there's that stuff. I don't care about it right now. Looks like we're all locked in. If 
Now you will notice since this is an emulator, I actually load in slower than everybody else. It takes a lot of processing power to emulate anything, so that's that's all this is. Because I, this is running off of an SSD, actually. I'll still go with slower than everybody else. And of course, I'm the last one. And here we are. So my joystick is right here. So all I have to do is hold down right click. And then it's like I'm using the joystick over here. And it'll just kind of follow my mouse here. So if I want to uh, hit space, that hits that part of the screen. That's my attack. Or I can push B. Takes me back to base right there. So I don't, I don't have to click on all this stuff if I don't want to. But I can. You know, I can click on it if I just want to. It doesn't really make a difference. But anyway, yeah. There you go. That's how you set up Pokemon Unite to work on your PC. Should be that difficult. You've got more settings here. I know my FPS is at 29. I haven't gone through all these settings. It runs just fine at 30 FPS, to be totally honest. But, you know, that's all up to you. I'm not, I'm not going to get into the weeds with it. There you go. So if you want more videos like this or want to see more content from me, please like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I do go live every now and then. It's usually just playing Halo or something. If you want to stop by, that would be great. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a good one.